George Bush left many impressions over the course of his 94 years. For Michelle Otten Gunther, one is a lasting lifetime memory. At 8.10 in the evening on October 25th in 1984, the then vice president broke her coral ring. At Elder High, just as she extended her hand, he was startled by a shout from the back of the crowd and grabbed a little too forcefully. Because there was a pop. When he shook my hand, there was a, like a, the pop, the ring popped and, uh, and he checked to make sure I was okay, and, and then I, I, I knew right away that it was the ring. Judge Norbert Nadel remembers the Bush grip, chatted with him while working out at a local gym. He was very cordial, very nice man, and I was very impressed. And our member at the time knew his father, Prescott Bush, and that's how he got George Bush to come down and work out at the Cincinnati Athletic Club. Bush could breathe political fire, but promoted a kinder, gentler America. At Veer Communications, Greg Veer told us about that softer side, one he noticed when meeting Bush at a Fountain Square event. A side that uh, was willing and interested in working together and working with people and a lot of, a lot of talk about service uh, and his points of light. One of those points is here at the Literacy Network where Barbara Bush was an honorary member up until her death. Gunther started as a volunteer here. She is now the president and, uh, and will pass so down to her three daughters the light from another president 34 years ago. And I saved all the little pieces and in my high school handwriting it says, you know, George Bush broke this ring and it has the date and the time. Michelle Gunther feeling a connection with the Bush family decades later by carrying on an important legacy of literacy here in the Cincinnati community. John London, WWT News 5.